What's up guys? In this quick video, I want to show you how we're using Celex to automate our PPC on Amazon and save a lot of money. So Celex is kind of an all-in-one tool. It does a lot of different things. It does sales reporting, keyword tracking, review management, but the real heart of Celex is what you see here on your screen, PPC. Now what Celex PPC Manager allows you to do is essentially automate your PPC campaigns that you have running on Amazon. Now the heart of PPC for Amazon essentially is mining really good keywords from automatic campaigns, taking those top performing keywords from your automatic campaigns and sticking them in manual campaigns where you can bid a little bit more aggressively on them because you know these are high performing keywords. Now in essence, what we're doing with this type of management is that you're peeling your top keywords from an automatic campaign and sticking them in a manual campaign and blocking these top performing keywords in your automatic campaign so you're not bidding against yourself. This is what they call a peel, stick and block method. Now Celex allows you to do all of these things automatically and on a continuous basis while you're sleeping. So let me show you around how we actually set these rules in place within Celex. All right, now let me hop out of this dashboard and the dashboard actually is quite convenient as well, but the real heart of Celex is this little automate dashboard that you see here. So I'm hopping over to this and this is where we are going to set up our rule sets for our campaigns. Now essentially within Celex, you're going to have rule sets for two types of campaigns. You're gonna have rule sets for your automatic campaigns, and you're going to have rule sets for your manual campaigns. Now let me show you one of the rule sets that we have set up for our automatic campaigns. Now you can see this rule set right here. It's called Automatic Campaigns DJ March 23rd, 2019. That's just a name that we give this to track it. Now within this rule set, you essentially have a condition a threshold and then an action. Now that's probably a little bit of a blur right now. Let me explain what I mean. So the condition is in this rule set that if our A cost is below 15% for this automatic campaign, after 15 clicks, that's our threshold, then the action that Celex will take is to increase our ad group bid by 20%. Now you'll remember that in an automatic campaign, you do not set bids at a keyword level. You set it at the entire ad group level. That's because Amazon is picking out keywords at random and you don't really know what keywords you're bidding on in an automatic campaign. So that's why this rule in Celex is increasing the bid for the entire group by 20%. Now what this rule is really doing is saying, okay, well, we have a target A cost of 15%. And if we're not meeting that A cost of 15%, we can actually spend a little bit more money on our keywords. So if we're below this threshold of 15%, then increase our bids by 20%. Now at the same time in our automatic campaigns, often Amazon will start bidding on a bunch of junk keywords. So let me give you an example from our company. We sell a particular bag that goes on the back of an ATV. We obviously would like to bid on the keyword ATV bag, but we would not want Amazon to be bidding on the keyword school bag. That's totally irrelevant to our product. So what the second rule is doing here that you see right here is it's saying if the A cost for a particular keyword is over 20%, after 15 clicks, because we do want to give some sample size for this keyword, we don't want to just take an action after one click. But if after 15 clicks, this keyword's essentially performing badly, move it to negative. That means that Amazon will stop bidding on these keywords in our automatic campaigns. And on this third rule here, we do something similar. We say if after 15 clicks, our threshold, orders are equal to zero. In other words, after 15 clicks, nobody's buying anything from us. Move this keyword to negative. You can see that in the last 30 days, Celex has taken three actions of increasing our ad group bid when we had a good performing automatic campaign. It took eight actions to move keywords to negatives after they had an extremely high A cost. 
And it took 90 actions here on this rule when we had keywords that were generating no orders and it moved them to negative. Now this you can see here is being applied to 24 different automatic campaigns within our PPC campaigns. So we basically have 24 products that this rule set is being applied to. And that is a great thing with Celex. You set this rule set and you essentially apply it to all of your automatic campaigns. It's basically set it and forget it. Now, of course, you can select which automatic campaigns you want this rule set to be applied to. But in our case, we're applying this to all of our automatic campaigns. Now, let me quickly pop down and show you our manual campaign rule sets. Now, the manual campaign rule sets are essentially the same as our automatic rule sets with one caveat. And that is that in a manual campaign, we can actually increase and decrease bids on individual keywords. You can't do that in an automatic campaign. So again, this rule is essentially saying if our A cost for a keyword is greater than 20%, decrease the bid. And if it's less than 10%, increase the bid. And again, this rule right here, this third and final one, it is simply saying that if after 20 clicks, there are no orders, move that search term to negative. And again, you can see a lot of actions have been taken in the last 30 days. 11 actions here, 17 actions here, and 40 actions for non-converting keywords. So hopefully this gives you a quick overview of how to use Celix to automate your PPC. Even if you're not going to commit to Celix, you can still use the fundamentals I talked about in this video. For example, peeling, sticking, and blocking, raising and lowering bids based on certain thresholds. You can use these fundamentals manually within Seller Central. It's just going to take you more time and it's not nearly as effective. So if you can fit it into your budget and if you have a lot of products, definitely check out Celex. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I would love to hear your feedback in the comments section below. Let me know, how are you managing your PPC? Are you using Celex? Are you doing it manually? Or are you using a different piece of software? Comment in the sections below and until the next one, happy selling.